Alright, so this is my scene from the rigid body animation video and we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Basically, I'm going to move all of these cubes into a new collection. And I'm going to move this base into a new collection as well. I'm going to call it the rigid world, I guess. Doesn't really matter what you call it. And then I'm going to play this whole animation. And I'm going to stop on like the last frame. So just click over here. Okay, so what I want you guys to focus on is that there is a slight gap. See? Um, one second. It would be a lot easier to see from this view. So if I shift Z right now to switch to render mode. Do you see that? Like, all the cubes are like not touching the ground. And what this does is it makes this effect over here that doesn't seem realistic so it might work for like another material but it does not work for like the materials i'm using so ooh, what was that let me just quickly close chrome <laughs> so what i'm gonna do to fix this is basically i'm going to create a fake plane and it's not really that complex let me just like find out some actual facts about the scene first. So I'm going to click on this ground over here and come over here to the physics tab and it's 0 0.01 the margin. For the cubes the margin is also 0 0.01. So what we can do is basically look one second select this select this base over here. Ooh, let me unhide that back panel. So select this base, I'm going to shift D to create a duplicate and then I'm going to press B and separate by loose parts. Well, no, separate by selection because I want to select, uh, separate the one, you know, that I had selected. So this is the plane that I made. And what I want to do is I want to just like move it up slightly. So just press G, Z, and by slightly, I mean the exact amount of what the margin was so 0 0.02 and then press enter you can type 0 0.02 and it will like know what you actually mean so now if I go to the camera and I press shift Z you can see the cubes are actually touching the floor um, if you do want like a slight gap then it's perfectly fine uh, alternatively you can like always keep a really small gap so right now, it still seems like the cubes are touching them, but there's still like a tiny gap. Let me just get in close over here. There. So this is a lot better than... Where is that plane? This is a lot better than this, basically. This straight up looks like the cubes are floating, but in this one, it actually kind of looks legit. And this is a lot better. But you can always just completely get rid, get rid of the gap as well. And to do that, you just have to select the plane, Z, and there you go. That would actually make me more happy. Like, this one is a lot better in my eyes. Um, obviously, do whatever you want, uh, because at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, it is your scene. But if you want it to look a lot more realistic than it is, then, yeah, you're going to have to do lots of those things uh, sadly we cannot fix this this is an issue that kind of like exists because of the margin sensitivity uh, and let me just like switch to zero and see what happens so if i just play this oh my bad uh, we don't need to switch to zero for that i'm gonna delete this plane since we, i've like already told you guys what actually happens <laughs> like what you need to do. So I'm just gonna select one of them and I am going to change the margin to zero. Then I select all of them, object, rigid body, copy from active. Okay, and let's go. So right now, this will give us like the exact same effect as we would have gotten from, you know, a plane at half the distance because I got rid of the margins from one of them. And as you can see, it already looks a lot better. And at the same time, um, do we have any cubes on top of each other? 
We do not, sadly. Uh, can we, like, quickly get in here? Okay, they're actually touching. This is what happens when the margins are zero. Like, you get things like this. But since it's, like, not actually visible to the camera, it doesn't really matter. Like, just look at it. It looks perfectly realistic. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, maybe a little bit if someone's, like, looking at it with a magnifying glass, but... Honestly, it's good enough to pass for, like, realistic. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, and thanks for watching.